Okie dokie. Let's do this. Welcome to a new series on my channel, Crash Test, where I try out skates of all kinds and try not to crash too hard along the way. In this first episode, I'm gonna be testing out these vintage Skechers four-wheelers. Hi, my name is Maddie, and I make videos to spread the stoke of skating. But before we get skating today, I wanna tell you a little bit about these skates. These were gifted to me by a friend who got them from a friend, so I honestly have no idea where they came from. I couldn't find much about these guys online, but from what I did find, courtesy of some eBay sellers, they are from the 90s. They're a low top sneaker skate, which is very different from what I usually skate. I've skated a heeled boot ever since I started skating. The main difference here is that a heeled boot naturally pushes your weight forward, preventing you from falling backwards. Because our instinct when we start to feel like we're going to fall is to lean backwards to balance ourselves. But with this skate, I won't have that little aid of pushing me forward onto the ball of my foot. I brought my butt pads with me for that reason. They have a plastic plate, which I'm not necessarily too worried about because my skates also have a nylon plate, and that's been okay so far. They also have nylon trucks, which are patent pending, apparently, <laughs> but are also a really bad idea. Plastic trucks tend to break a lot easier than metal trucks, making them inherently unsafe. If I were buying a pair of skates for myself today, I would try to avoid plastic trucks at all costs. But for today, we're giving them a go. I tried to figure out what kind of wheels these are, but I couldn't find anything online about them. The closest thing I had to compare them to are my Radar Energy wheels, and those are a little bit smaller than these and feel a little bit squishier. Radar Energies are 57 millimeter 78A, by the way. If I break that down, they're just bigger skate wheels that are squishier so that hopefully they can ride over little sticks and pebbles and things like that to keep you from falling. Well, to keep me from falling, I guess. <laughs> There's Velcro straps that go over the laces to keep them nice and secure. And of course, the most interesting feature on these skates that I haven't seen on any other skate is, wait, no, it's not on that one. <laughs> the double toe stop. So we have a toe stop on the front of the skate, which is typical for roller skates. And we have a toe stop on the back, which is not typical for roller skates, as far as I know. Please, in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have not seen a lot of roller skates besides like children's learning to roller skate roller skates that have a toe stop on the back. I guess it's not a toe stop at this point, it's a heel brake, but you get the idea. It only has a heel brake on one skate though, which I believe you could switch to the other skate if you wanted to. That way it can cater to right and left footed skaters. I'm a little skeptical of this guy because I have spent the last three years of my my roller skate career training myself to stop on my toe stops when I feel unstable. And so trying to use this, I feel like is just gonna be a complete new territory for me. I also wanna mention that these are a wee bit too big for me. They're a size eight and I typically wear a size six in roller skates. Okay, we're about ready to test these out. But before I get rolling, I wanna make sure that the skates are safe for me to be on. So I'm just gonna check a couple things to make sure that these are good to go. The first thing I'm gonna do is check and make sure that the toe stops are nice and secure. The last thing we want is the brake coming out mid skate. These toe stops are both on toe stops, which means that there's a screw that goes through the toe stop into the plate, holding it in place. You should be able to see it in there. Oh, well this one's full of dirt, so that's why we check these things. I brought some handy dandy tools. I'm just gonna try to get this dirt out of here so I can make sure the toe stop is tightened. Who knows how old this dirt is or how long it's been in here? <laughs> now let's try to give them a tighten. Nice. I don't think those babies are going anywhere. <laughs> Nice and tight. Next, we wanna make sure that the trucks aren't too tight or too loose. This is gonna depend on the skater and I'm definitely gonna have to adjust them again once I actually put the skates on and start rolling. But for now, I'm just gonna use my Y tool and try to adjust these and just kind of see how they feel. They feel like they're pretty loose already, which I usually like my trucks pretty loose. So I think that's pretty good. And the last thing I wanna check is that all the wheels spin freely. I wanna make sure that the bearings aren't so old that the wheels can't move at all. I mean, it's not great, but skates from the 90s, whose bearings probably haven't been changed maybe ever, I'd say that's pretty good. Can you hear that? There's probably 30 year old gook in there. All right, the wheels are pretty good. So let's just make sure that none of them are gonna be popping off or need to be tightened. All of them feel good though. So let's lace up and get rolling. The weight is in completely different spots already. And these Velcro things remind me of those light up shoes that you have as a kid. <laughs> I could definitely tell that they're too big by a couple sizes. Why am I so scared? <laughs> First impression is the sole feels really good. Typically when you buy roller skates, they come with like a paper thin sole that you have to replace. Well, you don't have to, but it helps your joints a lot if you do. But these ones feel like the sole is already pretty squishy and solid, which I may be assuming is because they're sneaker skates. So they already were sneakers to begin with and designed to be more comfortable. But either way, I'm here for it. And there's an extra hole up here that I think I'm just gonna lace it all the way up. That way, I don't know, I can try to give my ankle some sort of protection. There's not really any ankle stability with this, so. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, they feel so weird. Whoa. Yeah, definitely off the bat. <laughs> the weight is really different. And I'll just do some like little laps first just to kind of get a feel. Oh. 
<laughs> they feel okay. Definitely very unstable, and I probably need to adjust the trucks a little bit more. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Okay, that's kind of exactly what I was afraid of, was that the ankle would give out like that. A huge difference that I don't think I mentioned initially is that I skate wide trucks, which means that my trucks are three inches across. These trucks are way smaller than that. So I feel like quite unstable because I'm used to my wheelbase being a lot wider. Okay, let's try some crossovers. Oh. <laughs> Feels like I'm learning them all over again. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! I'm impressed these wheels roll so well after 30 years. Not bad. <laughs> after going around a couple times, the trucks feel super weird. So I'm gonna try to adjust them a little. I think I'm actually gonna make them a little tighter and see if that does anything. Cause I still just feel really unstable. Well, I mean, I feel controlled a little, but still wobbly, you know? I'm like a baby giraffe, fresh into the world. Okay, let's see if that feels better. All right, let's try a little strut walk. Okay, strut walk I'd say is a check. Crossovers were a little hard. Strut walk feels good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the shoe itself is actually really comfortable. Like I said, originally the insole feels super good. The outside feels nice and squishy while still maintaining some kind of structure. But I will say that the toe stop is really low. I keep catching it by accident. So that's something to keep in mind that these are a little chunkier than the ones I'm used to. Should I try a cool manual? I will break my ankles if I do that. Maybe a different manual. This, well, the ankles just bend way too easily. Let's try some toes. I think I can do toes if I don't go too far forward. Here we go. Nice. I feel like if I have the two toe stops, I should like do something fun with it. Oh, maybe I could jump from the front one to the back one or something. Whoa. Okay, can I like see if we can add a little entrance? Okay, let's try a spin. Wow! <laughs> I'm not even sure what happened there, to be honest. Let's try that again. Ah! <laughs> okay, spins are spins are a wee bit harder on these ones. <sighs> ah, toasty. Let's try one more time. That wasn't bad. I feel like I was mostly on the toe stop, but they're just so big that I kind of have to, I kind of have to be up there. All right, I like spins on these, even though I fell. <laughs> I'm also gonna mention that they're super lightweight and it's probably because of the plastic trucks and the plastic plate, which granted isn't the best, but I gotta say, I like that they're so light. Nailed it. Okay, let's try a cartwheel. <laughs> These trucks feel so squirrely, dude. I feel like they're kind of just squirming all over the place, even after I tightened them a little. Okay, let's try the cartwheel again. Nice. <laughs> the toe stops are so big that it makes that one easy peasy. <laughs> I will say that the wheels feel really nice too. I mean, this is a pretty smooth area, but going over some of the little sticks and rocks and stuff that are on the concrete felt really good. They didn't feel like they were tripping me up at all. So I'd say the initial test on flat went pretty well. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I gotta say I'm kind of excited to take them to the skate park and see what they can do, but I'm also kind of nervous because my ankles, dude, my ankles. So let's head to the skate park and see what I can do on these things. Okay, we are here at Memorial Skate Park in Colorado Springs to give these babies a try. But before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and put some safety gear on just so I know I'm protected if I fall. Ow, oh my God, I keep burning myself. Everyone wears the gear that they feel comfortable with at the skate park. My choice of gear is knee pads, wrist guards, a helmet, and like I mentioned earlier, butt pads. Oh, <laughs> I can't even squat on them because the weight has to be so far forwards. All right. Let's get to it. The first thing I'm gonna do is just practice pumping, which is a basic skill at the skate park. I just wanna make sure that I can get that figured out before I move on to the next steps. Feels pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Now that we got the pumping down, let's try a jump or two.
Oh, what was I gonna say? Remember to hydrate. Remember to hydrate or die. I can automatically tell that there's no heels on these because when I'm coming back in from the 180s and the turns and stuff, I automatically feel like I'm gonna fall backwards. So I have to lean forwards a lot more than I normally do to make sure that I'm gonna stay stable. Okay, let's try to drop in. terrifying in every way. Okay, I'm gonna try one more. Oh, we got it. Yeah. Bad respect for people who drop in with narrow trucks because that shit is hard. <laughs> We're heading over to the rest of the park to try a couple other obstacles. So we got this little mini quarter pipe right here. Let's see if we can do anything on it. So I've been skating on a pair of skates that doesn't have blocks on them since I first started skating. I learned stalls in the beginning without any blocks, but I haven't had no blocks since then. And it feels so interesting. The stalls feel really weird, which is kind of what I expected because of the narrow trucks. It's like when I'm getting up there on the 50, I'm not actually on the trucks. I feel like I'm just on the wheels, which is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna take a second and try to figure out how to use this heel brake. I haven't used a heel brake since I learned how to inline skate as a kid, because those have heel brakes, but haven't done it since then. Okay, ready? <laughs> My body just wants to keep moving forward. Ready? There we go. I feel like I got the position. You gotta like, you gotta like lean back into this leg. Let's try again. I got that. All right, what if we try to slide from heel to the toe? Ooh, almost. Heel, toe. No. What if I use both at the same time? <laughs> oh. 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 Skid mark. Oh. All right. I'm getting tired. Let's do a handstand. That was the last thing I wanted to do. So that was fun and terrifying. I feel like I did pretty well overall. I was definitely expecting to fall a lot more than I did. I feel like the biggest differences were kind of exactly what I was expecting. The trucks making me feel kind of unstable, the short wheelbase. I liked the toe stops more than I thought I would. Like I said earlier, I'm usually not a bolt-on toe stop fan, but I think these ones got me. The toe stop tricks and getting creative with that is pretty fun. I probably should have done more stuff with the heel thing now that I'm thinking about it, but next time, there's always next time. My ankles started to feel a little bit more comfortable and strong as the session went on. They still felt pretty wobbly towards the end, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't sitting here thinking, I'm gonna break my ankle, I'm gonna break my ankle every three seconds like I was in the beginning. I'm definitely not a big fan of the wheels. I'm not really a soft wheel person anyway though, so that was kind of to be expected. I did like that they made it easier to go over bumps and sticks and stuff, but once I got to the skate park, I felt really slow, like they were holding me back from doing a lot of tricks because I couldn't get the momentum that I needed. I will say though, no foot pain or anything. Sometimes I get foot pain when I skate. Not really bad, just a little bit and cramping towards the end and stuff, but these shoes were so comfortable overall that my feet don't hurt. I do think with all this extra padding and squishiness down here that the shock absorption was pretty good. Would I recommend these skates? Probably not. <laughs> Just the plastic trucks alone are enough for me to not recommend these, but the lack of ankle support, even though I started to feel more comfortable at the end, definitely steers me away from wanting to try these again. I'll say overall, I'm pretty impressed with these. I thought they were gonna be a little bit harder than they were, and I had fun. Thanks for coming along for this first episode of Crash Test. If you liked watching me give these a try, you might also like my video where I try ice skating, along with a couple other roller skate friends of mine. Check it out and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Girl in the books. Oh. <laughs>